the engagement of the Swiss Armed Forces on behalf of U4 Altea in Bosnia-Herzegovina. With the Altea operation, the European Union also took on military tasks in Bosnia-Herzegovina in December 2004 and built a network of liaison and observation teams called LOTS that are distributed over the entire country. The constantly positive developments within the country made it possible to continuously reduce the number of military personnel deployed. As a result, there are, in the whole of Bosnia-Herzegovina, only 17 lot houses left. Two of them are run by Switzerland, one in Mostar and the other in Trebinja. Mostar, the fifth largest town in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Thousands of tourists visit every year. Attraction? The rebuilt bridge across the Neretva River. It connects the eastern Muslim sector with the western Catholic sector of the town, but doesn't bring them together. Even 20 years after the war, its scars are still visible, and to all intents and purposes the town is divided into two. In the midst of this, the Swiss national flag. 7 a.m. in the Swiss lot house. Lot members prepare in the mess room for the coming day. All of them have volunteered to serve in this operation for six months. The lot function as U4's early warning system. Their tasks include talking to inhabitants to find out what concerns, fears, doubts they have and hardships they suffer. Two hours later, behind this nondescript facade in the Muslim sector of the town, the first meeting is held today between Specialist Officer Walter Velchli and his colleague Sergeant Dominic Walter. Together with their language experts, they meet with the Mufti, the highest representative of the Muslim population. We regularly have talks with him. We're able to ask him important questions and discuss sensitive issues. The tone is friendly and relaxed. The atmosphere is open for difficult topics too. The lots collect information for the U4 commander, who receives reports from all lot houses, enabling him to compile a picture of the situation. In the meantime, the second Swiss team is on its way outside the town. We try to contact people who live in remote places, but first we have to get to them. For this we sometimes have to travel quite far. Last week I drove for more than two hours until I reached two or three houses and was able to talk to the inhabitants. But today's drive won't take that long. Less than 10 kilometers outside Mostar, close to Yaliste, a place that's out of this world. Private Peter Ertig and his comrade, First Lieutenant Yannick Müller, have arrived at their destination and walk the last few meters. It's impressive to see how people on the one hand who live in the old town seem to be happy, and then this here, abandoned places, houses destroyed by the war. Well, it moves me. We leave Mostar and drive southwards in the direction of the second Swiss lot house in Trebinje. On the way, we meet specialist officer Anthony Page and Sergeant Peter Egloff with their language specialists in a small village. They belong to lot Trebinje and are obtaining information from the local fire brigade on their daily problems. Especially during the intense summer heat, fires often break out spontaneously and the fire brigade has but few resources to fight the fire with. This information will also be used later to complete the situation picture of the U-4 commander. 90 kilometers further to the southeast in the commune of Gatsko. 
imagine for me. First Lieutenant Matthias Neff, Deputy Commander of the Swiss Lot House in Trebinje, has a cup of coffee with the person in charge of Bosnian repatriates in this area. He regularly meets with the lot and openly discusses the people's situation, concerns and hardships. It's sometimes difficult to absorb all the information during the talk. Therefore, it's a good idea to have a partner with whom you can recollect what was said after the meeting and where the important can be sifted from what's unimportant. It takes time, patience and sensitivity to succeed as a lot member. A final friendly handshake and we move on, back to the lot house in Trebinje. Thanks a lot. With its population of 36,000 inhabitants, almost all Bosnian Serb, Trebinje in the most southern part of the Serbska Republic close to the Croatian border is the second largest town in the region, immediately after Mostar. The Swiss lot house is located in a residential area. Now, in the late afternoon, all lot members return from their patrols. And we use the opportunity to ask the deputy house commander about the challenges of a lot operation. The challenge consists in preparing seriously for encounters. In other words, to inform oneself about the issues involved, to read all the reports, use other sources, to apply this knowledge after preparation in the meeting. Meeting umsetzen, to pose the relevant questions and subsequently to process the lot information at home, in other words, the lot house, in such a way that the information is also passed on correctly to the superior authority. Daily and current. Camp Butmir next to the Sarajevo airport, the headquarters of the U4 Altea mission, are stationed here. We encounter Swiss soldiers here as well. Because in addition to the lots, the Swiss armed forces are also engaged with staff officers at U4 headquarters. It's true that even as a small contingent, we're able to do a lot, especially the lots out in the field. They are the main sensors, the UFO commander's instrument for obtaining a good picture of the situation. Here we're making a preliminary evaluation, before passing on the information to headquarters for final evaluation. Change of location. We drive to an ammunition depot of the armed forces of Bosnia-Herzegovina in Krupa. There are still about 24,000 tons of ammunition across the entire country that have not been professionally stockpiled. Since the spring of 2011, the Swiss Armed Forces have been working in U4 with a mobile training team, MTT, training the Bosnian forces in weapon and ammunition stockpile management. <laughs> Swiss specialists come regularly to Bosnia-Herzegovina to rebuild these capabilities in cooperation with the armed forces. Before we leave Bosnia-Herzegovina, we have a second glance at Sarajevo. See the scars of the war that point heavenwards as memorials. The lively activity in the ancient town, and we realize Lot and MTT, the Swiss Armed Forces engagement on behalf of the U4 mission Altea, are important mosaic pieces in the support of Bosnia-Herzegovina. They enable us to face the situation rather than ignore it. <laughs> 